Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel and today is a long awaited video, the roof with various heights video. A lot of you have been asking for this video and so today we're going to be digging deeper with the roof tool and how we can manipulate that tool to get exactly what we need. Yeah, so if it's your first time on the channel, thank you for joining. I hope that by the end of this video, I would earn your subscription. But uh, why wait until the end? Just hit the subscribe button right now. And uh, for everybody, remember to hit the like button because that's going to help the channel to be recommended to everybody else who likes this type of stuff. All right. So thank you all for joining. And uh, without further ado, let's just let's jump into it. Why not? Alright guys, so here we are back in AutoCAD Architecture and uh, before I get into the roof drawing here, if you haven't seen my first video on the roof plan, uh, it'd be good if you go back and watch that video because there's a lot of stuff over there that I will not be demonstrating in this video today. Alright, so definitely go back and watch this video. I'll drop the link in the description below. But in today's video, I want to show you guys how to do a roof with various heights. Hopefully, I'm just looking at this now. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys how I got this one here in the back. But I didn't have it in mind at first. But we'll see. What I had in mind was this drawing here that I quickly did up and uh, I wanted to show you guys how I'll put a roof on this with uh, with various heights on it um, hopefully you will get some insight from uh, from this video so I do have the floor plan here I kind of have an isometric view so we can kind of see what's happening uh, in 3d as we work and I also have this um, perspective view so we can have a more realistic visual when we need it all right so um, of course, we all know how to draw the basic roof by using the roof tool here on the home tab. Of course, there's also a roof tool in your tool palette if you go down to design tools. Mine is not showing now, but it should be at the top there. Um, however, I'm going to just use the one that is located right here and I'm going to say roof and right away it is being activated but before we go ahead and draw anything we want to make sure that we make some changes over here such as the thickness i'm going to work with 10 inches my edge cut i'm going to change this to, to plumb and single slope that's good overhang one foot that's good my plate height which is the same height of my wall would be 10 feet and i'm going to work with a 30 degree slope that's fine all right so of course, the easiest roof to be done would be simply to click on the edge there, a starting point, and to just click on all the edges going around the building. So I'm going to kind of uh, go around the building like this. Like that. Around this little bathroom area. And then I'm going to hit enter. So just like that, this is what we have so far. And not going to lie, it actually looks good. Let's see what that looks like here in the perspective view. So far, I mean, we could work with that. Um, but what if I wanted this part of the roof to be raised up above uh, this roof here? All right, let's see how we go about doing that. So what you would want to do is to click on the roof and we're going to edit edge okay so click on that and we want to modify these three edges so let's select them that to be the first one this to be the second and this to be the third and we're going to hit enter and as you can see just as how we selected them they are laid out here and we can make the various changes all right so one of the things we could do because we only want to raise the wall plate of this part of the roof what we would do is to simply raise the heights here so we could just say all right then let's make it uh 11 feet 6 inches 11 feet 6 and you want to raise them together because if you do one without the other then it's it's going to be a little bit weird but you could mess around test it out see what works let's hit okay 
And just like that, you can see that um, that area is now raised up above the rest of the roof. So that's that's pretty simple. Now, of course, there's much more we can do. What if we wanted to drop uh, this roof instead of raising it up? We could do that too. And let's see how that looks. Edit edge. I'm going to do the same thing again. Enter. Instead of having it at 11, let's drop it to like 8 feet 6. No, let's say 9 feet. 9 feet. 9 feet. Hit OK. And... This is what that would look like. Now, of course, the wall would need to be lowered in order to fit underneath because currently the height, the height of this wall is 10 feet. We drop the roof itself to nine feet. So technically, we, we would have to drop these three walls here to nine feet as well for it to fit nicely underneath that roof right there. All right. But I don't know if you would want that design. Uh, the design that I would prefer for this particular area would be just this side of the roof, the flat side of the roof just coming down all the way over without these two sloping edges. And that's quite simple to achieve. Um, what I'm going to do is to reset all of this right here to what it was before. In fact, let me just undo. All right, so now we are back to the original state of the the drawing. Now, in order to get this accurately, I would recommend that you cut a section through the building. So let's go to our section tool and let's just draw a section, maybe like right here through the building. Enter a current drawing and I'm going to place it like right here. All right, so this is the section. And what you want to do here is to draw a line. This line here, you basically want to continue this line until it touches the edge of the wall. So I would just simply go to home, draw a line that is parallel to this line. Let's turn on our angle and get a line coming down like that. So you can see where this line cuts the wall right there. That will become your wall plate height all right that is something that is instead of trying to calculate it it's just simpler that you do it this way and then of course you would just measure from the ground to that point would be nine feet and seven sixteenth of an inch once you get that distance it's easy to correct that so let's go ahead click on the roof and we're going to edit the edge and this time we only want to edit this edge and we're going to hit enter and we're going to drop this to that distance that we just learned so it would be nine feet zero and what was it again seven sixteenth of an inch so that's what that should look like we're going to leave it at 30 degrees and we're going to hit ok so just like that now we see that the roof is now coming down flat just like that so this is what i would prefer in a scenario like this and of course i would lower the height of these walls by simply clicking on them roof line modifier roof line auto project to the roof itself and hit enter and just like that that would be addressed let's take a look in the perspective view all right so that's what that would look like so this is just a simple one so far let's take it up a notch by trying another roof so let's go back to our design and i'm going to delete this one delete all right, so the next one would be, let's go ahead and draw a roof. Again, we want to make sure our settings are set, looking good. All right, let's do a roof, maybe just a, just a roof over the, the main part of the building. All right, we're going to hit enter. And I'm going to turn this roof into a gable roof by clicking on this point and dragging it out like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this end. So now you can see that I have a gable roof there. Now what I want is another smaller gable roof on top of this, uh, the front porch there. So we're basically going to do the same thing again. Roof and let's go around the front porch here. Like that. Um, like that and I'm going to hit enter. 
Now the trick with this one is that if I pull this out, the gable is going to be coming in, in that uh, orientation, which obviously that's not what we want. So um, let's undo that, undo. What we want is the gable to be facing this direction. So what we're going to have to do is to click on the roof and say edit edge. And we're going to edit this edge first, hit enter. And we want this edge to be instead of 30 degrees coming down, we want it to be at a 90 degrees and that will turn it into a gable. Hit OK. Just like that, you can see that it is already um, in a gable position. And we're going to do the same thing again for this edge at the back here. Enter and we're going to change that slope to 90 degrees. The only thing we're going to do different here is to take off the overhang because of course it has an overhang and we don't need an overhang. So let's put a zero there and we're going to hit OK. And just like that, now we have what we need. Now, if you notice it, it looks a little different from this one. And that's because I didn't change this back to plumb. So that should be plumb. Now it's flushing with that one. But I actually want this roof to be lower than the main roof. So I'm going to drop the plate height to let's say eight feet, six inches. Is that good enough? I think let's see. That looks good. And then, of course, we would drop the walls uh, down the same. Uh, let's say eight feet, six inches. Perfect. Now, when I drop the wall, if you notice this front wall here, because it has the arch in there, it's cutting below the arch. But don't worry about that. That will be fixed in a moment. Um, also, if you notice, these walls are not going all the way up and it's a simple fix so let's click on these walls that are not giving us what we need so this wall here we need this little front wall as well and we need the wall on the back which is this one here so those three walls we want to extend them up to the roof so we're going to click on them and then we're going to go to roof line modify roof line auto project and what we want these walls to project to would be this roof and this roof and then we're going to hit enter and just like that this is what we're left with let's take a look in perspective so this is what we have and it's looking pretty pretty good now this part is what we have left to fix and of course we could do a number of things here we could lower it put a slab on top of it um, we could put a little shed roof on top of there which I actually think is what I'm going to do for this demonstration all right so let's zoom in on that little spot so simply again go back to your roof tool make sure that your settings are looking good I think I'm going to drop this wall plate also to eight feet six inches uh, I like that height and I'm going to make this plumb everything looks good and I'm going to go ahead and just draw a roof around this spot. Hit enter. And right there, that's what I have. But of course, that's nothing near to what I need. So the first thing we're going to do again is to edit the edges. This time I'm going to do this edge and this edge. Hit enter. And I am going to change them both to a 90 degree slope. Enter. So it looks like that. Getting close top view sorry all right and then now i would like to also edit the edge at the back here and make it also 90 degrees with a zero overhang and now i end up with a shed roof now obviously this shed roof is too high for for this area because it's hitting that roof and i don't want that so i'm gonna lower this to maybe uh let's say seven feet eight inches just to leave enough space to have a, a lintel on top of that so i think that height is a nice height to work with and of course we need to drop these walls down a bit lower so let's make these walls uh the same seven feet eight inches and then we are going to edit these two walls here to make it so that uh the roof is auto projected to this one so now those walls are sloping up along the edge of the roof 
So let's save this and go over to our 3D view and take a quick glance at that. And I like the look of that. Now the only problem there, and I'm sure you can see, is that now I have a hole <laughs> above there which, you know, all the birds would probably fly up into. And you know, the, the rodents and the mosquitoes, that's a good spot for them to enter. So we need to block that out. Now, of course, in real life, we would have a, a beam running across here. And so all we need is something that is representing that beam running across the top of the wall there. Um, so what I would do here basically is go back over to my ground floor and I would draw a piece of wall. So I'm going to click on one of these walls and I'm going to say add selected and I'm going to just draw a wall from there to to here and that piece of wall as of course it would be blocking out the whole entire spot i want to raise the floor up all the way up so what we're going to do is to modify floor line and we're going to offset that floor line to about eight foot it's already in there so i'm going to type it again eight feet enter and so that piece of wall is now just a little tiny wall in there as a matter of fact if we were to reload this or refresh this section view you can see that now i have that piece of wall showing up right there and so our roof would be going up and hitting that wall nicely and of course we have our ceiling going through so if we go back to our 3d view let, well, before i go back let's let's save this and go over to our 3d view refresh and now you can see that that hole is being blocked so this is actually a nice uh, a nice way to do it. I like it. I would live here. All right. So let's try one more thing. And this is basically another method in which we can draw um, a roof on this house. All right. Let's reset all of these. All right. So here I am back at square one. And now I'm going to be drawing a similar roof but this time uh just with a little bit of different a different way of doing it um so let's go back to the roof tool and while we're drawing we're going to be changing settings over here and you're going to see how that affects what i'm doing so i could uh, make sure my settings are okay i need this to be at 10 feet 30 degrees so uh, let's go ahead and we can start to draw. Now I want this edge here to be a gable. So I could just simply go ahead and change that to gable and click on that corner. Now I want this edge to be a single slope. Go ahead and change to single slope. Click on that. Then I would want this edge to be a gable again. And then I would want this edge to be a single slope to here and then of course i would want this edge to be gable click all right you can see the form already and i'm going to make this side also a, a single slope coming to here and this corner here i want this to be also a single slope but I want the height of this portion to be raised up to, let's do 11 feet, six again, like we did in the first try. So we can even raise the height as we go along. Click, and I want this edge to be gable, so I'm gonna switch to gable. Click, and then I'm gonna switch back to single slope. Click, and then I'm gonna drop my plate back down to 10 feet and then I'm going to click and I'm going to hit enter and just like that in one single go we were able to get a single slope along with a gable along with even raising the wall plate all right and and so that's how you would go about doing something like that so of course when you edit the walls, uh, we can see what that actually looks like if we were to edit these walls. Right, so this is what that would look like. 
save. All right, so this is what that would look like, which is also another nice uh, option in terms of roof design for this house. Now, if you notice, um, there's a little gap in here that is left and that won't be able to be fixed until you convert your roof to a, to a, to a slab, all right? So let's let me show you how that works. Um, so let's convert this roof into whatever style you have there, erase geometry. So no, this is converted to a roof uh, slab. And at this point, I can grab this edge here and I can move it in. Yeah, I should be able to, I know I can, right. I can move this edge in like that. And I can also move this edge in like this. And so it looks something more like like that. And I'm sure that's what you would want in a circumstance like this. And of course, you would have to fill that little area in there um, again with a piece of wall, likewise on this side here. So that's how you'd go about um, making those changes. And I really want to show you guys how to do the other one. I hope I have the time but I'm gonna just close out of this project and open up that one bedroom house. All right, so if you guys remembered our one bedroom series, you would remember this drawing here. And if you didn't, if you missed that series, that series I showed you guys how to draw a building from start to finish, uh, creating even the sheets and um, printing them out and all of that. Let's take a look at the roof plan so you guys can see what that looked like. So it's still here in uh, full colors, but I'm going to basically do another roof design on top of this one, which I'm probably going to just push this to the side, uh, make this to be about 50 feet away. All right. So check this out now. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to make this so that it looks like this in the back here. So this I'm going to do this part first, the, the veranda, and then I'll do this part and then I'll do the back one last. So let's see what we can do where that is concerned. All right. So let's this, let's put a roof on the front porch here and I'm going to go to roof slab roof and just draw a roof here. Enter and then I'm going to edit the edges. I want this edge here and this edge to be 90 degrees, 90 degrees with a zero overhang, hit OK. And then I also want this edge to be 90 degrees with zero overhang. And so I'm left with just that little piece of roof. I'm going to, I didn't check my settings. I need to make this about eight feet high and I want it to be plumb. 30 degrees. I'm going to work with 30 degrees. I'm not sure if that is too, let, let's drop it to 25 degrees. All right. And see what that looks like right there. So just like that, we have the first piece and then now I'm going to do something very, very similar. As a matter of fact, I could probably just copy this one here and raise this back up to about uh, 10 feet and just pull this down this wall here and what I will do here is to simply edit this edge and give it back an overhang of 12 and so now I have that. Let me open up another view so we can see what's happening in, in terms of a 3D view. So right away we can see that we have something looking pretty pretty close already and I could simply mirror this I didn't even know it would have been this quick because I wasn't thinking of even mirroring and all of that kind of stuff. All right, let's mirror this side to that side. Enter and simply widen the roof out a notch like that. Widen this out like that. And uh, I'm going to give this edge, I'm going to pull this edge all the way back to here and I'm going to give it an offset as well off uh let's give it a two a 24 inch which would be a two feet offset so it offsets over 
quite a bit like that and then i'm gonna raise this height to 12 feet so it's now raised above um the rest like that and so all i need to do now is to raise my walls up all right so this wall this wall and this wall i'm gonna say modify roof line auto project to this roof this roof and this roof let's see if that actually works and it did all right so i just need to raise this wall up as well and this little wall on the inside here let us um do another one of that auto project to this as well as this enter so just like that um i think i know what's happening as it relates to this wall here um going up all the way to that i'm gonna i'm gonna reset this one and do it again yeah that wall i'm going to modify roof line auto project to this here right so that's what i need there um but guess what now it's what's going on here um yeah something is off right here so let's see if i can auto project this again it falls but it's not cleaning up as nicely as i would want it so what i'm going to do instead here undo 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 what i'm going to do here is to split that wall so i could move this back a little bit and i'm going to split this wall go to my brick tool uh, breaking point i'm going to break this wall right here so now this is like a piece of wall by itself and i'm gonna drop that height to eight feet so instead of having 10 here i'm gonna make it eight enter and uh, what what's that thing peeping up above that's the ceiling oh that's the ceiling okay so it, the ceiling is a problem here so what i'll do in this instance is to drop my ceiling from nine feet to maybe eight eight feet yeah okay there we go so i didn't have to do all of that all right so that's really it guys that's really how i would go about getting that roof to look in, the, in uh, that way the way we saw it in the image here something like that all right so that wraps it up for this video today thank you for watching and staying all the way to the end of course there are many more things we could do with this roof tool of course i'll be doing more videos on that so stick around for that and if you forgot i'm gonna remind you to subscribe and hit the like button and drop your questions below because you know if i have the time once i see the question i'm gonna try to answer it as best as possible all right and so thank you for joining shout out to the patrons on my patreon page big up yourself enough respect i'll see you guys in the next video peace out mm.